Hello, I'm Graham from Busby, and today I'm going to be talking about the stainless steel manual two frame honey extractor. This is a two deep frame extractor, but because it's actually slightly a little bit large, it has that versatility to actually put in four medium frames in there as well. So it's got that nice versatility, or if you want to stick to deep frames, no problem there as well either. Uh, it is ex extremely easy to use, but before I go into that, let me talk about the actual physical dimensions and the weight of this. So from the floor to the top is 110 centimeters. That's equivalent around about 43 and a quarter inches. It is rectangular, sorry, circular in shape. So that effectively means it's 44 centimeters by 44 centimeters. That's in metric, it's around about 17 and a quarter inches just by 17 and a quarter inches from that case. It's not awfully heavy, so it's 12 and a half kilograms, so easy to move around but it's heavy enough to still stay in place when you start spinning it. If we look at the actual barrel itself, the actual height of the barrel from the base to the top, that is 61 and a half inches, which is around a 24 and a quarter inches, just over two feet in that case. If you look at it across, the actual dimensions of the extra barrel is slightly narrower than the bottom, is 40 centimeters. That is 15 and three quarters by 15 and three quarters. So it's slightly narrower than the actual outside, it's giving you that slight outside support, giving you a little bit more stability. It gives it a little bit better. On the inside of the actual uh, extractor, at the bottom of the actual barrel, is slightly sharp. It's got a cone shape. And what that means is that top of that cone is the top of the pin or spindle, and that allows you to spin around on it. That means any honey that does accidentally come down the center, it rolls outside very quickly. Also, it means that the honey that is thrown on the outside of the actual drum by centrifugal force, it stays on the outside. It does not come in towards the center towards the actual spindle as well. So keeping it hygienic, keeping it clean, keeping it away from any sort of turning point from that case. So as the honey goes down to bottom, it settles along the bottom along this outer edge because of the, obviously the chamfer and it can roll around towards the actual heavy duty nylon tap. It's easy to use by one hand simply by unscrewing the butterfly clip or butterfly lock, undo it, open it, use it, as you finish close it. By simply ensure just tightening these two elements it keeps it nice sealed and tight. If we actually look at the legs itself, there are three legs. So it gives you the triangular fashion. So you won't get any of that wobble where you might you know, get on sometimes of the four-legged uh, extractors. But what I like about it is it's actual solid steel. It's painted so for its protection. But then towards the bottom, you actually have a flat flange. That flat flange means it's nice and flat and supported. It means it also won't move. But the extra bonus is it actually has a hole. So if you really wish to, you can actually put a bolt into a flat surface. So if you've got somewhere you want to leave it permanently, you can put it straight into the concrete or something on the floorboard so it won't move around. But if you want a bit of that flexibility, one thing you can do is actually put into a board like some plywood or something similar, bolt into that, and then you move that plywood with it as well if you like. It just means it gets a bit more solid base, it means less vibration from here, and yet very secure. On the inside of the extractor is a spacious basket which holds the frames. Same as the outer barrel, the actual basket is also made of 201304 stainless steel. This gives it a high anti-rust and anti-corrosion properties which is absolutely ideal for the honey production. The two frame manual extractor comes with two doors on both sides, both of which are removable quite easily. It all trans also transparent so therefore when you're actually spinning the honey, can actually see right through and see exactly the extent of it. The great thing about this is you can use it both ways, doesn't matter way, left or right, clockwise or anti-clockwise, uh, spins just as well. You'll also notice as you spin around, the bearings are extremely good, you need very little effort for the amount of power you actually get out. For actually the process of that extraction, you remove the lids, get two of these, in this case, deep supers in this case, and make sure when you do them, one goes one way and one goes the opposite. Do not put them both the same way because of balance. So one's gone this way, as an example. 
As that one's gone that way, we're going to turn this one 180 degrees and put it in this side. As you'll see, there's actually a bit of space, and the simple reason member said that you could potentially put two mediums into this as well. So you've got one that way, I'll we'll turn around 180 degrees, and see the other one as well. Once you're completed with that, put the lids back on, and you're ready to go. So this can be turned clockwise or anti clockwise. It's up to you. What you tend to do is in the comb, you go one way with the comb. Once you change the comb 180 degrees to each other, on the other side of the comb, you'll tend to stop and then spin the other way. You can actually do both ways to be absolutely sure. So the actual speed and how long you actually do this for is really dependent upon how viscous the honey is. The thinner, the runnier the honey is, the quicker it will come out, the shorter time, and less speed you need to put in it. Ideally, the less speed, the better, which means it protects the actual comb itself and stops bending that comb. Otherwise, the centrifugal force will push it outwards. Uh, you'll find the runnier honey would tend to be in the spring and the summer, early summer. Towards the end of summer, you start maybe getting a bit of crystallization, potentially, uh, depending on the different flowers that are out. And you might find you have to do this a little longer, and maybe a little bit uh, more solid. As you can see, it's very easy to turn, very good bearings, and runs very well. So who is this two-frame manual extractors for? It's ideal for anybody who's a enthusiast or hobbyist who has a smaller number of hives, such as one, two, maybe three hives at most. As soon as you hit that up end of three or very busy three, up to four or five or so hives, you really want to go for a bigger extractor. So maybe uh, up to a four frame extract extractor. There's a three frame extractor as well. There's also electric versions. If you're doing a lot and you find you get a lot of flow off your hives, then maybe the electric version where you're going to lean to. But in the meantime, if you have a small number of hives, you don't need to do the extraction thereafter. This is absolutely perfect from that, this, that perspective. If you like this video, we'd appreciate if you can give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so we can bring you some more of these videos as they come out. If you would like to know a bit more information about this manual two frame extractor, look at right in the comments below or alternatively contact us on our website and we'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Thank you very much.